Welcome back. Tom Harbin here with you. So when you think about political lies and their consequence, Adolf Hitler told a series of lies to his people. After World War I, he said that the defeat in World War I was, the, was caused by the elite class, the bankers, the Jews, the trade unionists, the communists. They were the, they were the reason why Germany had been humiliated in World War I. They were the reason why Germany was being, had been humiliated at the Treaty of Versailles and was in such terrible debt. They were the reason why Germany decided to pay off its debt by inflating its currency and creating a horrible inflation so that they could pay off the debt to other countries with a cheaper Deutschmark. And, you know, he, he basically, basically blamed all the problems of Germany on, you know, a relatively small group of people. Uh, similarly, we've seen, I mean, you know, lies here in the United States. I, I'm old enough to remember Lyndon Johnson and, and Richard Nixon lying about the war in Vietnam, lying about its cause, the Gulf of Tonkin. It never happened. Vietnam never attacked us. We attacked the crap out of them. I mean, you know, we, we bombed that country senseless, killed two million people, covered the country in Agent Orange, created millions of birth defects. Not to mention the damage, you know, the damage we did to our own troops, to millions of our own troops, who are many of them still on disability. And the Vietnam War is still costing us money, and and the fifty-four thousand or so who died. So we saw the the lies in Germany and Japan. We saw the lies in Vietnam, and I, you know, like I said, living through that, being an anti-war protester out in the streets, having these debates with my father, who supported the war in Vietnam. He believed the lies was really a challenge. How do you have a debate with somebody who actually believes the lies? In Germany and Japan, what it took to break out of this, to break out of the whole, the, 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 basically the lies that were being propagated by Tojo and, and by Hitler, was absolute and utter defeat. Now, I'm not suggesting anybody should defeat the United States or even that it's possible. But that's what it took in those cases to break the cult of personality that had formed around the emperor Hirohito and, and uh, Tojo, the military leader, and uh, in Japan and in Germany, Adolf Hitler. The people thought Hitler was going to be the great savior. Don't forget, in 1936, Hitler was building roads. He was building Volkswagen. He, he had uh, reinstituted a national health care system, uh, massive stimulus to the economy. He was literally the most popular politician in the world in 1936 on the cover of Time magazine. And then, you know, and it went to his head and in 37, he invaded Poland and then they were off to the races. Or maybe it was 37, he, he took the Sudetenland, but, you know, invaded Austria, but whatever it, it's, you get the story. So getting into lies is fairly easy. Getting out of lies is quite difficult. So what do we do about this? You know, there's, I, first of all, I think it's important that we tell the truth. You know, for example, oh, tax cuts will stimulate our economy. Well, you know, there's no evidence of that. Every time that Republicans have, have promulgated tax cuts on a national level, they've also promulgated massive spending programs which have stimulated the economy. And then they said the tax cuts did it. But at the state level, was Sam Brownback did these massive tax cuts in Kansas four years ago? and said, this is going to be proof of Reaganomics. We're just going to do the tax cuts. We're not going to do the spending. In fact, he cut back spending. It threw his state into a depression. Kansas is in a crisis right now. And not just Kansas. I mean, this is the same thing happened in Louisiana. Bobby Jindal tried to out Reagan Reagan so that he could you know, run for president in 2016 and devastated Louisiana. So people are starting to see through the lies at the state level, but at the federal level, the lies keep on going. And there's a bunch of them coming. Most of these Republican policies that, that came out of the Heritage Foundation, the Cato Institute, and these other, you know, petro-billionaire-funded think tanks, most of those lies, you know, which support the billionaires, are really hard to challenge. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 202-808-9925. And they're hard to challenge because they have been hyper-simplified and because there's a giant echo chamber that keeps repeating them, so they become like Goebbels' big lie. 